welcome to another episode of Cigar Bros. I'm here with Mike. We are going to be doing a great review today. Mike, would you just like to uh, let us know what we're actually going to be reviewing? Yeah, we're, we're going to do something a little different for you guys today. Uh, basically, we picked out the uh, the Alec Bradley line. Um, we, we picked what we think their their top two cigars are right now, which is the yep. Prensado, I believe, a one cigar of the year back in 2011, and the the Tempest, which which is also an excellent smoke, considered slightly under the Prensada. But, you know, we, we just wanted to get into their, their top two lines, give you a little bit of banter back and forth, and, and let you know our thoughts about them. Yep. So uh, without further ado, I think we're just going to open these up, light them up, and uh, start from there. Sounds good. We'll get them heated up. Let okay, you guys so, know what we uh, think. We just lit these guys. Again, I'm smoking the Prensado. Mike's smoking the Tempest. Uh the Prinsado, this thing has been aging for almost a year, my humidor. So right off the bat, it's just very smooth smoke. I can definitely taste a coffee hint. Uh, the other notes haven't really hit me yet. I, I am getting a little bit of a pepper note too. But uh, the, the big thing with this one, it's got a Honduras wrapper. And then there's a Nicaraguan and Honduras filler, as as well as a couple other things, but it's mainly those first two, the former two. Yeah, so I'm just getting into to my Tempest. I believe, believe I told you guys that the Pensada was a 2012 Cigar of the Year. I think it was actually 2011, but by get, getting into my Tempest a little bit, right now it's actually a very loose draw, which which I wasn't really expecting. Uh, the, the flavors, I'd say, are right about a medium, you know, probably because of the loose draw, getting a little of a chocolatey aftertaste, but right now, not, not all that, that much in, in the flavors, I, I think it's really just the, uh, the loose draw right now, keeping the, the smoke airy, so I can't really pick up too much on the flavors, but, but so far, you know, the, the smoke feels good, you know, I'm sure as, as this gets a little bit warmer, we'll, we'll be able to tell you a couple of nice, Nice flavors that, that the Alec Bradley does provide. So far, so good, though. And uh, we're going to just probably come back with you with an update in the first third and uh, see how it goes. Sounds good. I mean, the, the one other thing that, that we wanted to mention, you know, most of our videos, we, we just do straight tastings, a little bit of water. I mean, today, both both me and John are, are drinking a little bit of coffee as, as a sample to it. So if our flavors are, are a little bit off of of normal that 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 might be the cause but we we really just wanted this to be more of a a general conversation about the alec bradley line so we'll we'll get into these a little bit more and get back to you with a few updates okay so we we thought we'd just give you a quick update of the first third of these cigars i'm gonna start it off i'm smoking the Prinsado once again and i just want to say this thing is smoking beautifully it, it almost tastes like a nice bottle of champagne um, so I said earlier, I was, I was getting a nice hint of coffee as well as a little bit of red pepper on the after finish. And those things are still coming through. I think the coffee has upgraded to an espresso. I'm getting a nice creamy taste to this thing. I, I actually am very impressed. I think it might be because I've aged it for so long. Yeah, I mean, it's almost been a year since this thing has been smoked and it has shown up to its, its value. So I highly recommend the Prinsado. Um, Mike, what do, you, what do you think about the Tempest? Uh, you know, the, the Tempest has been excellent so far. I mean, my, my one complaint, which I think I pointed out earlier to you, has it's been, it, it's been a little bit loose uh, as far as the draw is concerned, which has made the, the smoke density a little more airy than um, what I would like. I mean, I've, I've smoked other Tempests before, and... Not not in this uh, size. It, this is the the box pressed. Uh, I believe I was smoking their torpedo version, which is a, about a, a six inch uh, straight roll. And so, you know, as far as this one goes, just because the smoke is a little bit airier. I mean, you still have that nice chocolate. A little general earthiness has started to come in, kind of, you know, coming in in and out. Not not as much prevalent as the uh, the chocolate. Other than that, you know, almost no no pepper or anything like that. Very very little spice to it. I I think uh, last time I didn't really tell you about the construction of the uh, the tempest. Basically, what 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 they did here is they they put a nice Honduran wrapper on the outside. I believe the uh, the filler is Nicaraguan mixed with Honduran, and then they they put a Indonesian binder 
on it. So they, they, they're trying to make a, a nice complex smoke with it. I think, you know, right, right now it's sort of accomplishing that. I mean, I, I wouldn't call it the, the most complex steak I've smoked and, you know, really it's just playing off the, uh, the chocolate and, and the earth right now. Yeah, no, I'll agree with you. The complexity of these cigars is not that great, but I would like to say the composure is remarkable. Like these cigars are phenomenal. There's minimal veins. These things are tightly rolled. Like mine, it's it's just nice and soft all the way through. I, there's not a, a knot or anything like it's that. It's not squishy it. though. It's like a well, nice no, firm exactly. softness. Yeah. Right. Yeah. No. I mean, this is just a nice spongy cigar. And I, that's what you want to find in a nice cigar. You, you want it to be. You want a little give, but but you don't want it to. You know, you don't want it to have soft spots or anything. But it's a nice. Yeah. You know, it, exactly. it, it gives you a little bit, exactly. but it's not like it's one, one of those clearly dried out cigars that's hard as a rock or something like that. Yeah, and um, you know, I couldn't have said it any any better than what you said. And, and what I'm actually having trouble with this cigar is just trying to find the words to explain what I'm actually tasting with this. Like this thing, I mean, I don't think I've had a, a better smoke than this Prensado. And I mean, that has to say a bunch of things about Alec Bradley and, and where they've come from. Yeah. I mean, you, you were telling me earlier that like, well, they're not even, I mean, they're new to the industry, aren't they? Yeah, he, he's definitely a new player on the market. He's not one of the, the old Cuban families that, you know, that, that might have been outcast to, you know, Nicaragua. Uh, a Dominican Republic, so he basically had to make a name for himself as a new player in the industry, and I, I think he, he really did an excellent job. Even on this this Tempest, you know, it's it's probably not as nice as far as uh, looks go as as the Prensado, but yeah. it is, you know, very very nice, tight tight seams, mi minimal veins. I, I I really think he uh, he's done an excellent job getting himself established in the industry. I agree. Yeah, these cigars definitely speak volumes. Yeah. And uh, what, what we're going to do, we are almost into the two-thirds, so we're going to just smoke this down a little bit more, and then we'll, we'll get back to you with another update. Sounds good. I'll, I'll keep you guys posted on how this uh, Tempest turns out. You guys, and we're back. I mean, I'm pretty much at the halfway point with mine. I think John's right, right about the same. Flavor has just changed a tiny bit on, on this Tempest. It's kind of turned into more and more of a leather. Uh, chocolate is much less noticeable. Earthiness is pretty much uh, the the secondary flavor as well. So I, right now I drank it leather chocolate or leather earthiness chocolate. Uh, the smoke uh, density has picked up a little bit, which I, I certainly uh, appreciate. I mean I uh, I like to actually feel the the smoke in my mouth when when I'm smoking. So right right now I think uh, things are They've been improving as I've gone down. How about yourself? You think uh, you think this has been working into a better situation? I mean, I know you were liking it before. Yeah. I, well, I just want to start off by saying that the the notes have you know kind of just died down a bit. I am starting to get a, a nice earthy tone, um, but the espresso note has kind of dissipated as well as the red pepper. It's more mellow now, and. I was reading up on this a tiny bit. It, it was saying this was a full body cigar. I have not picked up on that at all. Uh, it's actually been very smooth, very good. Uh, I'm not feeling a buzz whatsoever. So maybe coming to like the nub, I'll, I'll start feeling it. But so far, I mean, this has been an excellent smoke. Yeah, I mean, I, I'd agree right, right now. This doesn't really have any strength kick to speak of. Yeah, pre pretty much consistent. On, on the medium style smoke, maybe slightly above medium, but uh, you know, I re really, I'd say that's uh, that's probably what what you're working with right now. It's just kind of a you know, ni nice nice afternoon smoke. Yeah. You know, not nothing really to to complain about unless you don't like a, a loose style cigar. But you know, if you're you're looking for some some interesting flavors, you know, it, it's definitely got a couple. Uh, to, for you to choose out. I wouldn't say it's overly complex though. I would have to say my one pet peeve with this cigar is that the ash just keeps falling off. Like I, I like to conserve my ash. I like to try to get it as long as I can. And this thing just keeps 
killing. I mean, that, that might have something to do body, with the, uh, the the age and, and what humidity you keep your That's humidor true. at. Yeah. So, I mean, as of now, my my construction has been uh, pretty solid all the way through. Right now, it's burning a little less than even, but you know, no no complaints. I haven't had to touch it up. So, uh, I'll, I'll keep it going down into the uh, the last thirty here and see how it finishes up. Yeah, so far this thing has been great, but uh, like I said earlier, hopefully this thing kicks it up because I, I would like to feel a little bit of that that fullness that they're talking about. Um, but uh, we, we'll get back to you with with a final update. So we're winding down right now on these cigars. I'm just gonna give my final thoughts on the Prinsado by Alec Bradley. All in all, I thought it was a great smoke. Like we said, Cigar Aficionado rated this the number one cigar in 2011, and they gave it a 96. I think that's pretty much befitting for what I've smoked today. I've aged this thing, like I said, for almost a year, and it definitely shows. This thing has been a mild smoke. Unfortunately, the burn has been a little uneven coming to the end, but all in all, I mean, this thing burned very well. I can't complain one bit. I mean, I'm, I'm going to keep smoking this thing. It is starting to get a little hot, but all in all, I, I think this is a great smoke for the price. I mean, it's $10 a stick. It's a little high, but on a special occasion, you can't go wrong with Prince Otto. I mean, I, I'd agree. O overall, I've been impressed with what, what Alec Bradley has, has put out. As I mentioned before, I've Smoke the the Tempest and, and a few other sizes. Uh, this might actually be my least favorite. I think it's called the Quadrum or the Quadroon. It's, it's whatever their their box press stick was. Came off a, a little bit loose, uh, as I mentioned, sort of similar to a Rocky Patel. And I think that honestly re really uh, affected the flavor. I you know I've, I've smoked other ones where I, I thought it was one of the the best cigars I've had. This this came off with really those three flavors as the the leather the chocolate and the earth which i mean they they were good but they really weren't at the complexity level i was expecting and uh you know re really at the potency that that i've had them before i think the the smoke density itself was a little bit light which might have had had something to do with it it's getting getting pretty soft down here at, at the end so I mean, o overall, I would I would definitely say give the Tempest a shot. If I I would recommend, I would get it anything other than in their box press size. Uh, hmm. I mean, the, you know, may maybe I just got a bad box press stick. This is the first box press one that that I've had, but honestly, I feel like the Tempest has something a little bit better to offer. Huh? Yeah, that's that's a good review, man. Yeah, no, I, I think. Alec Bradley has come a long way, and and these sticks are probably some of their best, right? Yeah, I mean the, the, these are really the, the the top two lines that that they produce. I mean I'm sure they're going to keep pushing the the envelope. I mean after you get a cigar aficionado, even if you don't really agree with cigar aficionado's rating system, after you get a cigar aficionado cigar of the year, you, you really put on the map as yeah, far you, as cigar. Yeah, you can't go wrong. Either. Yeah, I mean it's it's a safe bet. So uh, I think that that really helped them get some traction in the market. I really do feel like they're trying to do a good thing with what what they produce, but you know I mean so, some of their sticks are, are are a little bit hit or miss. But that's the, that's really any company out there. I mean I would definitely give them a shot. Uh, I think uh, a lot of their lines, their their family blend. You know obviously the the mm -hmm. Tempest and the Brunsado are are good. Yeah. You know, you, you can definitely find uh, an excellent cigar made made by them. It's just really, you know, more more of a preference thing at that point, and, and more of more of a price point. Uh, you know, that that's really what what jumps into the conversation. Definitely, yeah. And, you know, if you got a wedding coming coming up, or you know, you got some kind of special occasion, you cannot go wrong with with either of these sticks. Like these are top of the line. Absolutely. I mean, you know. As you mentioned, uh, awesome, awesome sticks. Don't, don't, don't get this in the box press if you want to try the Tempest. But you know, you know, overall, you, you know our thoughts. So I uh, hope you guys like like this review. Yep. Please, uh, please follow us on on Facebook. Like, like us on uh, you know, both both Twitter and and YouTube. You know, subscribe to our channel. We we always appreciate the support. 
and we'll we'll get back to you in uh, about another week with with another uh, great cigar review. Yeah, Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much, and uh, here's to your next smoke. Cheers, guys. <laughs>